what we saw in Charlottesville would not be going away. There are other marches being planned across this country. As I said, folks, uh, we are in a battle that we cannot ignore. The question I've been posing, will you see black Republicans call out its party, call out this president to demand a much more forceful reaction to the issue of the alt-right, their influence on this administration? Joining us right now is former Congressman J.C. Watts, founder and chairman of the J.C. Watts Companies, uh, and again, a former congressman from Oklahoma. Congressman Watts, um, on, on that very issue, uh, and that is the importance of black Republicans as a collective standing up and saying this is not who this party is. Will we see that? Well, Roland, I'm, me personally, I'm not concerned about white Republicans, white Democrats, black Republicans, black Democrats, white pastors, black pastors making a stand. I personally uh, c could not tolerate what we saw happening uh, in uh, in Virginia over the weekend. Reverend Martin Luther King said, he said, I am an heir to rape, rope, fire, and murder. And he said, I'm not angry about that. He said, I'm not ashamed of that. He said, I'm ashamed that we would have human beings that would treat other human beings with such inhumanity. And so I'm ashamed that we have people in the country that uh, would would give us the impression or would would articulate that they want to take us back to the dark days of, of rape, rope, fire, and murder of the 40s and the 50s. And I think you know any decent human being, regardless of their skin color, uh, should should be should be vocal about this. And and I, I think, quite frankly, over the last seven months, mm -hmm. we've had uh, you know the president has given. Uh, the country, and especially Republicans, considering that he's under the Republican banner, has given us ample opportunity to to, to speak out and, and, and to disagree. And, and this past weekend, uh, that was a right now moment. And, 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 and did, did you believe he blew it? No, no, no question. No question. You know, there, there's an old... You know, in, in, in politics and in, in athletics and, and, and even in life, we all are going to be faced with those right now moments. And uh, the president was faced with a right now moment of the weekend. And, um, you know, an analogy that you and I can relate to, uh, he fumbled the ball. There are some people, again, uh, now that he came out yesterday, he, he, he said, oh, people are not happy. People are still criticizing him. But the point that I make that's critically important uh, is that, look, this is not going anywhere. These folks are still there. They're still out there. They attacked a black man, almost beat him to death. Uh, he required uh, stitches. They killed a woman. A lot of these people still have not been arrested. Mm -hmm. And so America must understand that this is a growing movement, uh, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center, and you have an administration that has actually pulled back on investigating white supremacists. And we'll, we'll talk about Congressman Biden. We will talk with Congressman Benny Thompson next, but that should be a red flag for anybody. Well, you know, Martin, Roland, we, we don't have to. Most people, regardless of their skin color, regardless of the faith, most people, they, they look at that, and there's just certain things that you can look at and say, just as a human being, that's wrong. I, I can't tolerate that. Um, it, 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 you know, the Southern Poverty Law Center or the Democrat Party or the Republican Party, there's just certain things you see that you know that it's wrong. You, you, and, and if you say it's two plus two, you, you see it, it, it's visible, it's right before your very eyes, and you refuse to say that it's four, then most people say uh, something, something's not right with that. Are, so, are, you, are you having conversations with other black Republicans about being, being more vocal as a collective to speak out on this issue? Well, I, about um, four or five days ago, I, um, before, uh, shortly after this Virginia thing had happened, University of Virginia thing had happened, I had, had texted um, um, several black Republicans saying that this doesn't surprise me that this is happening simply because uh, I think it's, it's led up to this, just the demeanor that we see in the country today. I left social media about 
a week ago because I just thought, you know, I'm, I'm not going to subject myself to it. Right. But uh, I, I said I said to these black Republicans that I keep in touch with that uh, it, it doesn't surprise me simply because uh, I think the president has has tremendously damaged himself simply mm-hmm. because he won't he, he he's he's dissed almost every demographic out there got it um, with, with with the exception of the white supremacists and I, I do think that uh, it it leads to words matter it got it words make words matter tremendously and there's a, there's a reason we can say that we we shouldn't call our kids stupid that we shouldn't be that we should sow positive things into our kids' lives. You know, in, in Scripture, in the book of Genesis, time and time again, in the first chapter, it says, and God said, let there be light. And God said, and God said. The reason uh, I point that out is because, again, right. words matter. And they can be uh, the, your worst enemy, or they can be one's worst friend. And I think the president has constantly made words uh, and, and his enemy. Congressman J.C. Watts, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Roland. Right. Eight days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.